Congratulations, Ryan Bilger. You are our first semifinalist. Ryan, way to go. Congratulations. You did it. How does it feel? You're now a semifinalist. It's insane. It's weird. I feel more like the knot in my stomach is here now and it wasn't here when I was playing. It's so weird. I think it's all like washing over me right now. And it's like, that happened. Like, where did that come from? <laughs> You could not be caught going into Final Jeopardy. Apparently, your preparation paid off. What did you do specifically? It's weird. The, the questions to, in this game felt like a mixture of things I've known forever, things I learned in school, things I've picked up from studying, and things that have like just entered into my headspace in the last couple of days or so. Um, thinking specifically, like, I just watched the movie Wall Street the other week, and boom, there's a question about it. I'm like, ah, I got this one. I mean, I get a daily double about Pennsylvania history. It's like. You, you really can't give me anything more that I, that I could possibly want more. <laughs> Without giving up your secrets, any strategy going into the semis? This proved to me that, I, yeah, you could, I can do it. I can do this. So it's just stay within that same, um, that same sort of headspace, that same sort of comfort level, and just get back here and get ready to do it again. Is there anybody in particular that you'd like to see in the semifinals? I just hope that we get a good game, uh, no matter what happens. I, as I said, I've said before, my ideal game is three people crushing the boards. You seem so at ease. Just curious, were you more nervous coming back for the TOC or in your first appearance on Jeopardy? Maybe a little bit more now, just because the stakes are higher. Um, and I also felt like I kind of needed to prove myself a little bit more, remind people who I am, because I played more than two years ago at this point. This is a unique tournament because so much time has elapsed since your last appearance. Any advantages or disadvantages with all that time? I think I've had the advantage of having this long wait period and knowing that I would be coming back has given me time to sort of focus my trivia, pre both do focused and general trivia preparation over time, focusing on some of my weaker categories. I'm like, how did I do that on movies? Like, <laughs> That's not what I'd consider a strength of mine. Um, but also to just stay involved in the trivia community and just be absorbing all of this stuff. I'm sure there's so many people that are rooting for you. Uh, your fans, your family, My fans. Uh, the <laughs> trivia community. Any special messages for those folks? <sighs> Thank you to everybody. I wish I had something fancier to say, but just you've made me who I am. And even when I'm not always certain of who I am and, and whether that's what I want to be, but. Uh, it's working, so thanks to my parents, to Laurel, my girlfriend, and to everybody else who's been friends with me, supported me. Um, it's just, it's great to have this strong base of support to know that even if I had ended up with negative $5,000 and been going home, they'd have been like, you did fine, you did fine. So um, thank, thank you to, the, to everybody. You were so much fun to watch, and we wish you the best in the semis. Thank you, Jimmy, I appreciate it.